What is going on, guys? Episode 11 of Season 7 of Star Wars Clone Wars has now come and gone. We got a lot to discuss in this episode. Man, I can't... Wow. They did what I did not think they were going to ever do in this series. They actually executed Order 66 in this episode. I can't... Oh, wow. Wow. The way this episode begins is, of course, Ahsoka just now got Maul. You see where she's talking to the new leader of the Mandalorians at the moment, telling her that, you know, she's learned, you know, she's like, well, I didn't think you'd be able to capture Maul. She says, well, I learned from the best. And then she says, I got to report my findings to the Jedi Council. And then she says, I think that your people will be having a great leader. Now, what was really cool was, is that we do see where she's reunited with the other masters of the Jedi Order. And of course, we see what we saw from the trailer where Dooku, not Dooku, but we see Mace Windu says, I feel a plot to destroy the Jedi Order. And she informs everyone that she has captured Maul and that she will accompany uh, Rex to Coruscant to deliver him to the Jedi Council and we do see where as soon as that happens they're saying like oh we appreciate this and she says well I just did my duty as a citizen now we and basically right when because uh, she asked if General Skywalker was available Rex says no when he was in the other meeting that that she he came to get her in that's when he was busy so in the entirety of this episode she's worried about Anakin and right when you see everybody, and, and this is literally, I want to say, because it, it does happen where he was informing the Chancellor of Grievous with his battle with Obi-Wan. And what was crazy is that we finally see where he uh, basically, and, and again, it's no shocker that as soon as she's like, well, what happened? And she starts to ask questions, and there's Yoda and Mace, and Mace says, and he's being a dick when he says that, well, he says, well, it's for not a citizen, it's for the Jedi Council. And I'm, I'm just like, dude, I can understand the reason why there's a lot of mixed feelings with uh, Mace Windu. But they all start to leave, and then Yoda says, is there a message for General Skywalker you'd like to say? It's like, you know, more you say have you? And, and she had a chance to say about what Maul said about Anakin, but she did not say anything because, again, she did not be believe it herself, so it was hard for her to even believe what was actually going to happen. So she finally, it's like, no, I'll tell him in person, and he says, very well. So as soon as that happens, uh, Rex goes, you did not tell them about what was said about General Skywalker, and she says, no, She's, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to inform him myself. So when this happens... She goes and she tells Rex what we got to see in the clip that I'm very happy that, you know, I got to have a friend. That, and he informs her that that's based all the clones were, where that they were pretty much the the only strength that the Republic had. And she says, well, they chose great soldiers and they salute one another. And as soon as that happens, we do see where Rex uh, is informed of another... Uh, of the newest briefing, which is going to be Order 66, but Maul is in a is in a confinement cell, sort of like what the Man Lawrence would use, but this was upgraded for uh, specifically for a Jedi. So I found this really cool that they were going to be using something from uh, the Mandalorian, and of course we saw with Boba Fett using it against Han Solo and everything. And as soon as this happens, we see, and this is what was so interesting, we see. Where Maul, right when before this happens, Maul feels it while he's confined. Then we also see where Ahsoka starts hearing, you know, disturbances in the Force. She starts seeing where uh, just different visions. She starts hearing everything, like from from Revenge of the Sith. You must choose. Don't listen to him, Anakin. And then we see where you hear Hayden Christian's voice, of course, from the movie, and you hear Matt Lanter as well from the voice of Anakin. And right when she hears all that, you see, of course, Sidious's, you know, famous one-liners execute Order 66. And Captain Rex basically states, very well, Lord Sidious. And so right when that happens, 
he she's like Rex, something's going off Anakin, and then he just drops his helmet, and he's trying to fight it. We do see where Rex is trying to fight to not do this, and he tells the other clones, no, I'll do it, and he starts mentioning about the malfunction, supposable malfunction, and he says, find him, find him, so he's trying to give Ahsoka a chance, and that's when the clones attack Ahsoka, and Ahsoka is able to get away, then later on, he, Captain Rex basically informs everyone, okay, it's time to kill the Jedi due to Order 66. Any any soldier that repair, that will not do it will be terminated as well. So as soon as that happens, he orders them to go kill Maul. They go right ready to kill Maul, but then we see where Ahsoka stops him, releases him, and says, don't, don't have me regret doing this. So when that happens, we do see where she informs him about what happened. And she says, is this because of you? She, he's like, why would this be because of me? And... He finally figures it out that that was Sidious's plan all along, and he says, "Magnificent." She basically tells him, "She's, I'm not here to team up with you. I'm here to have you be a distraction." And that's pretty much what Maul does uh, throughout the episode: is that he's basically just on a killing spree to make sure that he's able to survive. He doesn't have his lightsabers. He doesn't have nothing. He's using the Force to go up against the clones, and he's tearing them apart just from the Force alone. He's able to just destroy as many clones as possible, and then we do see where Ahsoka finally hides from the rest of the clones, and she gathers a whole bunch of droids, looking into the files and looking into Rex's files and Anakin's as well about what happened to the clone that went rogue and dude because of the inhibitor chip, and then we finally see where she's able to kind of trick Rex with the using of the droids and able to uh, knock him out and then bring him into the medical lab and trying to find the the inhibitor chip and they're not able to find it. So she tells the droids to hold on to the door while she's searching for the chip within his head. And you just see where the normal, I am one with the force, the force is with me. And we all, we can't, we always say that line, especially from Soul, not so, but uh, Rogue One. And we also get to see that in you know, throughout throughout the other of the series, but what was so interesting is that we do get to see where as soon as that happens, we see where Ahsoka informs uh, she's basically trying to get to Rex and she says, okay, and she, she tells R7, look, we need to do this because if we don't, we're dead anyway. So right when the clones are trying to uh, get in, they finally get in, Ahsoka, it looks like Ahsoka was about ready to die because the weight of the power where they were supposed to target the Jedi, which we did see when they executed Order 66, where Ahsoka, pretty much between all the blaster fire, she got overwhelmed, and right when it looks like she was about ready to possibly get killed, we do see where Rex wakes up and shoots his fellow brothers, and he says, and she's like, Rex, are you you? And he says, yeah, that's me. He says, I'm sorry, kid, it is his life. And then he says, I almost killed you. She says, what happened? And he says, it's all of us. She says, how far does this go? She says, it's everybody. He says, the entire Republic Army are now ordered to kill every single Jedi Knight. And that's how it ends. And this episode, I, I, I gotta say, between this episode and last week's was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Dave Filoni... The Lucas team, this, I, I, I can, I, all, all I kept seeing when I was watching this episode was literally the, between with hearing Order 66, seeing everything, just, just seeing what happened, and it was absolutely amazing seeing this, because we have not seen this in since 05 of the of the great revenge of the sith when that happened but guys episode 12 is going to be coming very soon uh then I'll, i mean i'll still talk about it i'll probably make some other videos for you guys about clone wars but this this oh my gosh i can't believe they actually did this so of course we're going to see ahsoka and rex separate at some point as well as maul somehow escape and we're going to see all that so it's going to come very quickly, so without further ado, guys, there you go for episode 11. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll be seeing you guys on the very next one.